Hi all, um, welcome back to part two of the machining on the lathe with the piston redition. Hopefully you find this one useful. Um, this one has got, it is quite machine heavy, so uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Carrying on where we left off from part one, we put the piston back in the machine and then we continue to size this dish uh, to give uh, 141 thou uh, in depth and 60.5 uh, millimeter in diameter. Now, that will give me a 9.5 uh, cc uh, dish. Um, I already mentioned uh, in the previous part about using a spreadsheet. Well, this is uh, some screenshots from my spreadsheets, um, which is on my phone, which makes these calculations easier. It even has uh, an option which I wrote for uh, doing the um, piston dish hemispheres as well when I need to do a hemispherical dish. With the piston machined and back off, it's on the bench to check the depth, which is correct. And then obviously the final check is to check the new machined volume, which is 9.5. Okay, so the piston I've just machined on the uh, right here um, is, uh, is now ready, i.e. the machine's now set, so that's got the right size dish. Uh, and now I need to run through and then machine the other three to, to match. Um, this is a pretty straightforward operation now because obviously the machine's set and it's all set up on stops. So it's just basically uh, a, a simple win, uh, rinse, wash, repeat exercise. Soft side of the hammer, uh, the mallet on here so you don't damage the aluminium. And just gently tap the piston in. Right, that's ready to go. Tighten her up on the drawbar. Remove the gauge and we're ready to start. Thirty-five thou. So I'll take twenty thou at a time. And off we go. That's 35, so that's the crown down, and then we come out to our side, which is already set, and we start going in. Okay, so that gets us to 130. Now we're going to check sizes. I'm running at about 131. So we go in, we want to get to 141. We take 10 barrel out more and we're done. Break the edges. Tip and polish. A bit more speed. And 
and that piston's done. Right, piston number three. Again, centering up. Right, there we go. That's tight enough and almost perfectly central. Start the dish machine. takes us up to the measuring point. Just make sure there's no burr on that edge there to keep the uh, depth mic from reading properly. And we got 131, so and we're going to take 10 thou off to make that 141 and spot on. Break the edges. I don't use a shaft at all. I just use a, a specially uh, sharpened hacksaw blade. Does an excellent job of quickly burning. High speed. Now we polish. ready to come off. 
but loosen that off. Time to give her a wash. Just a quick word about the quality. Uh, obviously, as you can see, the machine in there, um, there's no chatter. Uh, it looks, you know, a very nice cut indeed. Um, that's the way I like to do my pistons so that, uh, you know, they look like maybe they've been produced like that uh, rather than just sort of uh, left hacked out or jagged or whatever, you know, nice and smooth and uh, professional finish. Now, the other thing that uh, needs to be answered, really, is some people think about, you know, the weakening of the piston if you machine a, a bit off the top. So here is a cutaway version. This is a, a brand new 21253. I don't think it's a plus 60, but it's a, a, a plus 20 or a plus 40, something like that. Anyway, this particular piston has had, um, oh, about 88 thousandths machined off the crown. And then it's had the dish re-established. So uh, you're talking uh, that piston dish there now is about 8cc or about 8.5cc. Uh, now clearly it's cut in half, so it's, <laughs> it doesn't measure that now. But that's what the uh, that's what the target was on this. But the reason why we cut it in half is so that you could see the um, you know what's left of the piston crown. And typically. Um, on that particular application, that would take that down to about 200 thou uh, crown thickness, which uh, is what I call the limit. Um, but uh, uh, engine builders, reliable engine builders, tell me that 160 thou or uh, four, four millimeters is uh, you can get away with, uh, which, which may be fine. But uh, that's what I would class as a, you know, a nice reliable piston. Um, you know, of course, you're free to try your own, but. Uh, uh, this is this works for me. Um, so if we hadn't machined off the 88 thou, that would have actually given the piston dish volume on this particular piston of about 14 and a half cc. So these 21253s will stand a fair bit of dishing, uh, which is very useful for engine builders. If you you know if you you got an engine that's uh, you know the compression's too high, then dishing these pistons out is uh, relatively. Uh, easy and straightforward and reliable enough to do. Um, the, the dishes that we've done here, uh, bins I've only taken 35 thou off the crown and then only machined down um, another 141 on that, means that we've got pretty much the original thickness of the uh, um, piston left. So in reality, uh, what we've done here won't affect the piston strength you know, in the slightest. So... Uh, it's a good modification uh, to be able to do to a piston. Uh, a lot of people just fit these uh, and have the pistons either sticking out too far or the compression too high. So, you know, good engines just aren't assembled. Good engines are machined and built. And this is uh, why people like um, uh, Ross Thomas at Thomas Classic and Modern will uh, pay the money to have their pistons machined to suit their application. So no two engines are the same. I don't think I've ever had a set of pistons off a of Ross that, that that he's ordered one set and then another set that's all the same. They're all ever so slightly different to match each application and each customer engine. Hopefully you found that useful. If you need any pistons machined uh, for the BMCA series, then please get in contact via Facebook Messenger. Um, other than that, please like and subscribe uh, as it helps me make more videos. See you soon.